Chapter 16, Problem 17, Bonds, again. In this case, a slight difference from the previous examples. So by now, you should know how to calculate, and if you want to listen to previous recordings, how to calculate the present value of the bond of $627.73. And it's given to you in your calculator in the box at the top of the screen. Don't bother with the... Uh, the Appendix A and Appendix B, that is a really out-of-date way of doing things, and it's also not as accurate as your calculator. So what that means is the bond will mature for $1,000, and you're, you're going to pay the present value is $627.73. So in Part B of this particular case, if you were to pay $1,000, for the bond, it's only worth $627.73, and you would suffer a loss of $372.27. So it would be a loss of 37.23%. So if you want to put a minus sign in front of it, I will do that. So that will show it as a loss. All right. But it's obviously you lose money. In part C, if you were able to buy the bond for $627.73, which is the current fair market value, and it matures for $1,000 without interest, no, not even factoring in interest, you invest $627.73, and you get $1,000, and you gain 59.3% positive. So in this particular case, you have the percentage gain is much greater than the percentage loss because the, the loss is based on an investment of $1,000 and the gain is based on an investment of 627 and 73 cents.